she lives here. Now, next guest is a, a champion uh, who could give uh, David Copperfield a run for his money. Daniel Hargreaves is just 15, but he's won the top competition for young magicians within East Yorkshire for the sixth successive time. And Daniel's joined us in the studio tonight. Hi, Daniel. Hi. Well, it's good to see you. Um, which famous magicians inspired you then to, uh, to get started? Because you're so young, you can't know that many, can you? David Copperfield, I think, is one of the greatest illusionists of all time because of his success. He's the one that made the Statue of Liberty disappear, didn't Yep. He? And see. Paul Daniels, because I think some of his routines that he does with his tricks are absolutely marvellous. And also, it's all about practice, isn't it? Like yes. With anything, to be good at it, you've just got to keep going, haven't you? Yep. Practice, practice, practice. See, okay. practice, yeah. practice, practice. Yeah, yeah I'll get there in the end. Yeah, thank you, Tricky. <laughs> right, uh, come on, you brought your cards in. Show us, show us a trick. This is where it all goes pear-shaped, isn't it? This is where I go and mess it up for you. Well, I've got a pack of cards. You can see that they are all different. Yeah, all different. Yep. Yeah. Now I'm going to run down the corner with a pack like that. Right. I'd like you to say stop anywhere you like. Okay. Get ready. Yeah. Stop. There. Now we'll give you all that card. Right. You can have a look. Show, show everyone else. Right. Right, got it. Now I'm going to see if I can get the name of the card with my mental powers. I think it's the red diamond, I think it is. Uh, is it the four of diamonds? How did you do that? How did <laughs> you do that? How did you do that? I'm not going to tell you. I didn't think you would. That's brilliant. Oh, well done. Everybody could see at home as well that you were right. Oh, Absolutely. So would you like to take this on and, and be a professional magician then when you get a yes, bit older? Yes, definitely. I know quite a few magicians that have gone professional and earned quite a lot of money from it now. Yeah, Paul Daniels, I've seen the size yeah. of his house. You'd like a bit of his money, <laughs> wouldn't you? And a wife like him. Yeah. Right, now, get the, get the big cards. What are these? Well, these are jumbo cards. Yeah. And I'll show you that these are all different as well. Right. These are the idiot cards, so you can do this one. No, these, are, these, are for, <laughs> these are for you, you see, because of your, oh, your eyesight and all that. Um, okay, what do I need to do? Uh, yeah, just pick, pick, any, pick card. any card. Okay, I'll have that one. Have a look, show everyone else. Okay. Okay. I'll take the card back, first down. Now, where would you like the card to go? Top, middle, or bottom? Uh, bottom. Bottom. About there. Uh huh. Yeah. I'll push it right in, and we'll take my magic wand, which is necessity for a magician, and we'll put it through the holes. Yeah. Now, could I borrow a hair, please? <laughs> oh, yes, I've got many legs. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you bet my, the whole thing might fall off. <laughs> I'll wrap it around the corner yeah. of the card and give a pull on oh, your wow. card. Oh, wow. Brilliant. Absolutely well brilliant. Oh. Was that your card? Yes. It was. It certainly yes. was. One more oh. thing. Can you make him disappear? Hey, stop it. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> nice to see you, Daniel. Well done. I think you've got a great career in front of you. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot for enjoying me. <laughs> And uh, talking of uh, magic, we've got a great prize for uh, families looking for something to do over the school.